What's up guys? My name is Shishir Nigam and welcome again to our channel Journey to Freedom where you can follow along on our journey to financial freedom through the worlds of Shopify and dropshipping. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bells if you haven't already so that you get to know every single time we put out a brand new video like this one. Today we're going to be talking about whether you should be starting off your dropshipping journey with a niche store. In the last video we talked about whether you should start a journey with a general store. Today our focus is whether you should start off with a niche store. We'll talk about the advantages, disadvantages, Managers and overall whether that is the right way to go if you're starting off on your dropshipping journey. So make sure you drop us a like if you're finding value in the content. That is the only thing we ask of you. We put in a lot of time and effort in developing this content for you guys free of cost. So it will really go a long way in helping the channel. Um, and YouTube puts this video in front of a lot of people like you and I, especially because they find it beneficial as well. So make sure you drop us a like to get that message out there and help the channel along the way. So let's get right into the content. So what exactly is a niche store. Let's start by defining that. Um, if you're starting off in the dropshipping journey, you need to know that a niche store is essentially what we call a branded store. So it has a very branded look and feel. There's a particular category of products that are being sold on a niche store, right? So you have a, you have a website name or a logo that is uh, specific to your niche. Um, simple example could be something like Toys R Us, right? Toys R Us you know, in the name itself, you know what they're trying to sell you. Toys. Um, babies are us. Again, what is it trying to sell you? Baby products, baby toys maybe. So, you know, in the name itself, you can tell what the niche is from that website's name. Um, so the whole idea is that you're trying to sell products on that website from one particular niche that you want to target. This could be things like fitness items, baby products, pet products, there are a whole variety of different niches that you can potentially target. Um, the key thing, as I mentioned, is that products only in one particular niche are offered in that store. Now, let's go into the disadvantages first of having a niche store. Now, the first key disadvantage, in my opinion, is that it takes a lot more effort to develop a branded niche store from scratch, okay? And admittedly, that can be a differentiating point, right, that sets you apart from many of the dropshippers in the industry because you're having to put in a lot more time and effort in developing that branded niche store. Why does it take a lot more effort? Because you need to be very consistent in the brand's look and appeal and emotional appeal to the customers, right? So branding is very important when it comes to a niche store. It needs to be very cohesive in the way that your message is being sent out to your customers. If you um, are, are not consistent, then your customer will feel something is missing. You know, if, if, if it looks like a branded store in one area, but not so much in another part of your website, then that disconnect is very obvious to anyone who comes on your store. The second major disadvantage is that if you don't have success with a particular line of products in a niche, and if you want to then try a product and test a product from a different niche, then you almost have to develop a brand new store from scratch. You'll have to buy a brand new domain name. You'll have to set up a brand new Shopify store, design everything from scratch, create a new logo, essentially create your entire brand look from scratch if you want to start a brand new website and test a new niche, right? So it's almost rebranding entirely. The third major disadvantage is that if trends change suddenly, then that can, can put your niche out of favor, right? A simple example could be if you are running a branded niche store that focused on, um, let's say, luxury uh, travel suitcases, okay? And as you know, in the current crisis that we're in, travel has reduced dramatically. And one of the things that has fallen off of a cliff is sales of luggage pieces, right? So yeah, you may, you may have a very well-designed and branded niche store that is selling travel luggage, but in the current environment, your sales will completely tank and you cannot suddenly switch to selling fitness products, which are doing well right now, uh, because you're running a store that sells branded luggage. So if you want to switch to selling fitness products, you have to create a brand new website. So I, I hope I'm getting the point across, but 
that is that is the major disadvantage of being in a particular niche that you have chosen because that niche may fall out of favor and again not forever but in the short term that can really hamper the ability that you have to test products in different niches hope you're finding value in the content so far guys and if you are make sure you smash that like button subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you get to know every single time that we put out a brand new video and make sure you stay till the end of this one to catch all the content and comment below on what you like and what you'd like to hear about. Stay with us. Now let's talk about the advantages of a niche store. Um, the advantages definitely would be that having a consistent branding and a consistent look and feel across your website is much more appealing and much more trustworthy to customers who are landing on your website, right? They're coming to your store for the first time and the first impression counts for a lot. And if you have a consistent branding, look and appeal, um, then the customer is very much impressed and they're able to trust your brand name and your website right out the gate. That's gonna result in higher conversion rates, okay? I can guarantee you if you're running a general store and you compare that to a niche store, you're gonna have higher conversion rates on a niche store because you are, you are um, attracting customers who are interested in that particular niche and you are servicing that customer with your brand. So you'll have higher customer conversion rates definitely on a niche store. The third major advantage is that you'll have the ability to cross sell lots of different products. As I mentioned, if a customer is coming to your website to buy fitness equipment, and you have a store that specializes in that and sells a whole range of different fitness equipments like uh, elastic bands, yoga mats, things like that, then somebody who's coming to your website to buy uh, a yoga mat is quite likely also to be interested in buying some additional fitness equipment, especially if you can offer some bundled discounts, right? So that is, is somewhat difficult to do on a general store because you have unrelated products from different niches. But on a niche store, you can sell um, different products across the product category much more effectively and increase that average order of value. That can be very important to increase your profitability at the end of the day for your dropshipping business. Finally, in the long term, a branded niche store gives you a much greater chance of long term success and having a sustainable business that doesn't depend on one winning product, but it focuses on the category of products as a whole that is um, you know, much more long-term and consistent in nature, that is much more dependent on returning customers who have been happy with their products and your customer service, and they're coming back to their brand because they relate to the brand, right? So it is the key, I, in my opinion, to a long-term successful business. So. Let's come down to the question that we started with. Who should start off with a niche store? In my opinion, if you already have experience with online marketing and you already have experience with dropshipping, for example, you have had your own dropshipping stores in the past, then I feel that you should be ready to give a crack at having a niche store that has a nice brand look and feel because you've already gone through the experience of how online marketing works how ads work and things like that. You've ideally already tested lots of different products and you know which niche that you wanna focus on having tested many different products on different websites. So when you start off with that branded niche store, make sure you try to emulate what successful brands do. So look to the brands like Nike, look to the brands like you know High Smile, you know, Movement Watches, all of these are very successful online brands that have done very well with niche stores. So look at what they're doing successfully. Look at their email chains, look at their graphics, look at their Instagram profiles, how they engage their customers, how they keep them in the loop, what kind of discounts do they offer. So look for all of that and develop, focus on developing a consistent brand story a consistent emotional appeal that you can pr you can present to your customer on your niche store. And as I mentioned, in my opinion, the key to long-term success in the online business is to develop 
a branded niche store that you can develop a long-term customer base from that consistently returns to you to buy from you because they had a good experience. Only caveat, as I mentioned, is if you're starting off in the business, then it's much more difficult to, to succeed with a brand and niche store up front because it takes a lot of time and effort to develop one successfully to a point where you start to have success with customers and the products that you're trying to sell. So I hope this makes some sense. I hope you guys found some value in this video. Like I said, we try our best to give all that we can in these videos to our viewers. If you found some value, all we ask is drop us a like so that YouTube finds and understands that you liked our content and it can put out this video to other folks like you on the internet. So make sure you subscribe to our channel again if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next video.